With September's internationals at an end, the Manchester United squad has regrouped at Carrington for training ahead of the Southampton clash. It's a quick turnaround for the Reds, who are in action on Saturday lunchtime, visiting Southampton in the first Premier League game to be played following the break. The meeting at St Mary's Stadium kicks off at 12.30 BST. There's an opportunity for United to put defeats against Brighton and Liverpool behind us and set a marker ahead of a busy period of fixtures featuring seven games in 22 days across three competitions. Several players who were involved for their countries during the past week were photographed on Thursday, including Bruno Fernandes, who made his 600th career appearance as Portugal secured a 2-1 victory over Scotland. Like Fernandes, who scored the Salico's equaliser in Lisbon, Diogo Dalot and Joshua Zerxi have also been in the goals and were present at the session, alongside summer signings Matijes Delite and Nusa Mazuroi. Alejandro Garnacho and Lissandra Martinez were also spotted, despite Argentina's World Cup qualifier in Colombia only finishing late on Tuesday, with the likes of Casemiro, Marcus Rashford and Johnny Evans, who recently retired from international football part of the group too. Toby Collier, who you can also see at the training, will be eager to add to his two appearances already this season after testing himself against Manchester City in the Community Shield and Liverpool last time out. One player who didn't participate was Manuel Ugarte, who only travelled back from Uruguay on Thursday. However, in his press conference, Eric Ten Hag has provided a major update on Manchester United summer signing ahead of the trip to the St Mary's for the Southampton clash. Eric, um... Could you just give us an update on your squad and who's available, particularly Luke Shaw, Rasmus Hoyland, and also Manuel Ugarte, given his international <coughs> uh, Manuel Ugarte, uh, I think we all have seen. Um, he, he played uh, for Uruguay. Um, he returned this afternoon. He was the only player who returned today. Uh, all the other players returned yesterday. Um, yeah, so he is available for this game. Manuel Ugarte was heavily linked with Manchester United in the summer before the Red Devils finally landed the 23-year-old defensive midfielder on deadline day. The Red Devils agreed an initial fee of £42.3 million, including a potential £8.5 million in add-ons to bring Ugarte to Old Trafford from French side Paris Saint-Germain. Ugarte was unveiled to United fans at Old Trafford before the 3-0 Premier League defeat to Liverpool ahead of the September international break. Ugarte has been away from Old Trafford during the international break and the United Star has featured for Uruguay during their World Cup qualifiers. The former PSG midfielder played 79 minutes in the 0-0 draw against Paraguay before Ugarte saw out the full 90 minutes in the 0-0 draw against Venezuela. United boss Eric Ten Hag had been keen to bring in a new defensive midfielder ahead of the summer transfer window shutting. Casemiro has played alongside Kobe Menu in midfield and the former Real Madrid star was ruthlessly slammed for his display against Liverpool. The 32-year-old Brazilian midfielder only managed 45 minutes in the 3-0 defeat to the Reds before Ten Hag withdrew him for academy prospect Toby Collier. As Ten Hag has said in his pre-match press conference on Thursday, Manuel Ugarte is now confirmed to be available for the match against Southampton. United have already experienced midfield issues in the early stages of the 2024-25 season, with Casemiro facing mounting criticism over his performances so far. Ten Hag had been left short of holding midfielders in the summer after United declined the chance to sign Sofian Amrabat after his loan spell ended. United legend Mickey Butt recently admitted that Ugarte is the type of player that the Red Devils needed and he thinks that the XPSG star will shore up that midfield. I've seen a bit of him last year and I think he's what we need, he told Manchester United's official website. He's got legs and he's aggressive, hopefully he'll shore up that midfield. The one thing it is lacking, and it has got a lot of talent in there going forward, is we can be a little open when teams are on the counter-attack against us, so hopefully he'll make the difference. Meanwhile, Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that two first-team players will not feature in the Premier League encounter with Southampton at the St Mary's. United are 14th in the Premier League table after their opening three matches, while Southampton are 19th after losing all three of their league fixtures. At the same pre-match press conference on Thursday, Eric Ten Hag dropped an important update on Rasmus Hoyland and Luke Shaw. Um, uh, Rasmus Hoyland and Luke Shaw they are progressing very well, but 
not, not ready for this game. Rasmus Hoyland was sidelined with a hamstring problem after he suffered an injury in the pre-season defeat to Arsenal at the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles. The 21-year-old Denmark striker opened the scoring for United in the 2-1 loss to the Gunners in July before he was forced off the pitch in the first half. Hoyland was expected to be ruled out for six weeks and was likely to return after the international break, but the Danish forward will miss the Southampton clash. Luke Shaw, on the other hand, missed United's opening three Premier League matches of the current campaign due to a calf injury. The 29-year-old left-back, who represented England at Euro 2024 in Germany, suffered his injury at the start of pre-season training with United. Despite the mixed start to the Premier League season, Ten Hag insisted that United are focused on winning ahead of the Southampton match. I said before, we are still in a transition period. We have to, to integrate a lot of young players also in, in the team. We are still dealing with, with injuries. We have to bring the injuries back in the team. And um, before anyone thinks uh, about excuses, no, we have to win every game. I know that, the team knows this, and it doesn't matter who are available. And yeah, we will focus on every game and have in every game the mindset we have to win. Ten Hag added. Of course, when you see uh, the scores, no one is happy. Uh, but also, players uh, have a very good sense of the process, of the quality of the process. Yeah, and I agree with him. We are, and also when you analyze the games, um, all the games so far, uh, we are in a good direction. And uh, but also, uh, but that is normal in the transition period and in the period where you have to build the team. We have to improve. We have to step up. As Manchester United prepares to face Southampton at St Mary's Stadium, the pressure is on Eric Ten Hag to turn things around after a challenging start to the Premier League season. With a mix of returning players and new faces, United has a chance to reset and push forward in what will be a busy period of fixtures. With the international break over, the squad is back at Carrington, ready to put their recent disappointments behind them. The next few weeks will be critical for United as they aim to climb the Premier League table and set a positive tone for the rest of the season. Let's support the Reds as they push for victories and show the resilience that defines Manchester United. Do you think Manu Ugarte should start? Share your thoughts in the comments below and watch the next video for the starting lineup versus Southampton.